Hello, we have a game, and it's going to be an interesting one, one way or the other, because we're facing off against Kislev. So, uh, yeah, let's have a quick look at what, they're, what they've got going on. Uh, oh, I thought that was a bear for a minute. So they've got a bear, not leveled. Got a nice blitzer here. Um... Catcher. They don't have a ton going on, which makes sense that their team value. Only three rerolls as well. How are they doing? Really good. Really good. Very basic team. So maybe he makes use of inducements to end good play. Because he's going to get 310k. So I assume he's used to playing down. So he goes wizard. And... Of course, our ball carrier has protection against strip ball, but he doesn't have protection against anything else, so. Downside to our ball carrier. <gasps> okay, and how so alright, so a bit of a bit of fouling and a bit of uh with no, no sort of commitment hard in one way like he could have gone like maybe bribe helmet double babes or something but they'd lean into the fouling uh, but well we'll see how it goes maybe he knows something we don't maybe we're playing at his field and he has there aren't any fields with free bribes right we are playing at his field but it doesn't look upgraded so probably doesn't have anything going on Yeah, very good record though, so, you know, we, whilst I don't think it's a terrible matchup for us, we've got to be careful here. As as always, I think partially it just depends on how much they, uh, how well Leap works out, right? So he's keeping the chainsaw for later, for his drive, I guess. Keeping the catchers on, I feel like I'd be tempted to leave the one catcher off. I suppose if you're looking at recovery, they are recovery and getting it away. Having two on is nice, but obviously they're pretty flimsy and we have a lot of tackle. So, you know, it's a, a potentially a scary game in that sense. So I'm keeping the bear on the back line. Is that going to be a thing? Got two wrestles. Block fan, but busted. There was somebody else that was busted too, right? Busted Aji. Ooh, that's really bad for Kislev. So this guy is going to be really bad at diving in. Uh, let's... Just do something. Something that's a little closer to what, what we're going to actually do. It always starts with the wildest setups. I wouldn't mind having the ball on a Centaur, to be honest. So that might be something we consider. He hasn't really given us anybody we desperately want to block in the back line. Blitz, I mean. So I suppose maybe that's the argument for keeping the bear back. I think we're going to go with this setup here. Uh, these guys all have mighty blow, so I like that. We've got three guys in the back to respond, plus this guy. If something cool happens, maybe the centaur tries to grab the ball. That's not what I was looking for. He got his he got his extra reroll. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to temporarily keep the centaur back in case anything weird happens. 
That makes it kind of awkward for him to get to already. So we'll do that and then we'll make some hits. Very nice, so we can move them up as a unit, which is very satisfying. Probably end up wrestling this. No, we can just push him. And he helps kind of anchor that, right? See if we can grab the ball at this stage. We do kind of have a secondary screen in. In case something goes wrong. And I think we just come up to... Here. And let's see how... Let's see how he attacks this. He does have a wizard. We need to remember that. Going straight in with a bear blitz and it fails, which is nice. And he's done. Okay. So, pretty sedate start from him. Uh, let's see, where can we push in here? I guess we could actually push up this way. to here. Get you in here. Get the ball up to here. We need to bear in mind that this could get knocked down here. So I think having this guy temporarily here feels pretty nice. Pop him on the side. There's nobody really worth fouling currently. So I think we will stick with this. I mean, this could go wrong at any moment, right? I suppose the wizard plus Kislev is a pretty potent combination.
Could push him straight back for it now. Okay, he's pushing that way. He has one guard. Is he going to turn a corner with us and try and screen us off here? Probably just going to stay. Is he going to give him support? He is. Okay. At the moment we could still get in there and claw the bear though. We will stand firm on that. Because that's an automatic hit back here. Which is, uh, you know, the more hits we get the better. Part of the game is going to be can we do any sort of lasting damage to the team. Before, you know, because if we don't then it's always a danger to us. It's sort of like a weirdly sort of slightly elfish team in that sense. So we do get this. Uh, following doesn't really help. So I think we will stay. Because this one doesn't have guard. Just a stun. Can we get enough assists on this guy? Mm -hmm. Two, three... One, two, three, four. I think we can. Is it worth our while? Probably. I just need this guy to move here. This guy to move here. And then we have the hit. We should rearrange our ball carrying situation. Slightly. And that should give us... Yes! Okay, we worked it out right. <laughs> and we got pushes. Classic. Uh, I'm not going to greed it, because the bear is not, like, their, really their, their most, sort of, dangerous player to us. Overall. And how do I feel about all of this? Maybe one up. Yeah. So the ball's not in easy leap range right now, apart from like, obviously this guy could maybe... Could come in from the back and do a one dice leap in if he wants to bring somebody in. 
to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could come here and then leap in here. Yeah, so that's what he's going to do. So maybe having this guy... One back was better. But it's hard to, de you know, I mean, it's hard to entirely defend against what he's got going here. don't think this guy can get a good leap in. He could go there, but that doesn't provide anything for here. So yeah, we're going to have the leap in. He's got his catches free to try and make something of it, if it works. Is it a GFI here? It is. Okay, he gets it. Still in a tackle zone, which is good for us. So this kind of enhances the, the argument for using the, the Centaur as a ball carrier, right? If we're going to do that, arguably we should have left this guy off, although... Yeah, it's tricky. Oh, is he coming in? He is. A lot of rolls. This is why kids live scary. When the, when stuff actually works, they are a bit of a problem. Hey, Cryo, how's it going? Boy, he's had a great turn. It's gonna reroll. Oh, oh, why don't you reroll that? I wonder. Like, you know, the entire rest of the turn worked, so having that guy in the situation would be pretty handy. So you can put guard in. Hmm, it is kind of fiddly here. Do we need this square free is one question. Well, that ain't no good. Oh, he's got Fend as well. That's annoying. So we could two dice this guy back, which would make him potentially easier unless we... Okay, there we go. So now we do have a two dice. Which I guess is as good as we're going to get right now. Okay, that's a, that's a bonus. Is it going to just go straight off the field or is it coming back? Apo it. Okay. This could go in a bad direction. 
That would have been nice. Okay. Uh, oh, that's uh, not the best dodge. Got to move here. And I literally have to move here. Okay, we're getting some removal. Got to reroll that. Okay, we left ourselves just enough time there. So we're not safe here, but honestly, we have killed two of his players, and we've got one of his catches off, so... Oh, there's a fireball. Oh, good, good place for that to go. He got three out of six. I totally forgot about the fireball, but we kind of had to do what we had to do there, right? Well, obviously he has to... Oh, he got it. That is... Uh, there's a bit of luck to make up for where the ball went there. And it goes off. So he may just score here. I mean, at least we did trap the catcher up a bit. What a crazy... What a crazy start. How's it going, Cryo, by the way? You just joined us in, in a pretty intense game, as Kislev can be. Oh, of course he's got Leap. I forgot about that. Did use his reroll, but it's all good. Is he going to try and pass down there? I guess. I mean, he has used his reroll. I'm going to keep reminding us about that because it seems pertinent. Saw the death, and then the and then the crazy fireball, the bear passing as loner, which could have been disastrous if he hadn't. This is our drive. So this is a bit chaotic, but it's... Uh, so he's just going to hold on to the ball for the moment and try and regather. There is a lot of Chaos Dorse on the floor, so that helps. I think he's only failed one leap so far, so he'll be happy with that. Alright, so what is obvious to do? I think that. Uh, not that. Uh, let's see. I think we tag this guy. Because he can't really get anywhere else anyway. I kind of need to see what happens with this block. That is really nice. If I go there and follow. I think I open up the path. Uh, I kind of open up the path. I mean, we can now do this, which is nice. Uh, what else are we doing? Um, we do need to pressure up front, but we are slow, so... Yeah, yeah, the leap there was not a bad, you know, it, it was a good, it was a good call. I just forgot. I think we, hmm, tackling this guy doesn't necessarily help. But I, if I'm not going to tackle him, I should really tag him, and that's pretty tricky. Do I try and get up to this guy? Could just try and base him.
Armor break is nice. Let's see if we can get on him. I'm going to reroll here if I... Okay, that is good. And I think we try and pull this guy out. Oh, there's tail. Don't die on me. Thank you. So we've made things as awkward as he can, but he still can kind of maneuver this. Maybe I could have put this guy down on here because he can just leap like nobody's business. I guess he's just going to come and throw it now, huh? Hang on, 83% catch. Oh, they've got... hang on. Does diving catch just give you a plus one to catch? I guess it does. I mean, if he makes the pass, he's he's basically scored. Oh, diving catch. Diving catch for the win. Oh, is he going to try and stall out in the corner? Looks like he is. Needs this block to go well. Could leap this guy out, maybe. Never mind. Not sure who that was. Just out of range for him. Let's get you there. Let's get you here. Let's get you here. You can patrol this because there's not much else you can do. I think we need to at least make this guy do something if he's going to do something. Oh, we rolled a six there. <clears throat> Isn't it always the way? Well, it's a one in nine, so we should make this. It never works as much as you think it should, does it? So I think it just goes in there. I mean, anything else is very risky, right? With this guy back. No. You're stuck. He's going in there. Okay, so... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He's on eleven, so the good thing is, is that Helmet is on there for two turns, and then we'll be gone. Unless he rolls a bribe. Or we roll a bribe. Because it'd be both of us, obviously. So, Wizard did its job there. Unfortunately. Uh, but I still feel like there is a chance for us in this game. 
there's a chance we... Because I think I'm going to commit pretty heavily to trying to two-turn this here. So there's also a chance that uh, we go 2-0 down here, because he still has two turns as well. But I'd like to be able to play for a win. And this is our drive, so <laughs> it obviously gets harder after this, rather than easier. Hmm. I guess we are trying to go right up the middle here. Which is fraught with problems. If we're being totally honest. Still kind of have to respect the, uh, the Blitz as well a little bit here. Extra reroll at this stage I think is good for us because that gives us two rerolls. Okay, can we open this up is the question. It's a great start. Okay, very nice. So we did clear the way. Obviously there is no safe way to play this. I guess getting some guys on his guys feels pretty good. I think we get this guy up. Oh, very nice. And yeah, I think we follow here. 
Because that also tags up the bear. Okay. So I think he does put in a scoring threat, because obviously this is dangerous for us, but... We do have three scoring threats of our own, so I don't know how much he commits to that and how much he commits to blocking this up. Everybody can score. Tag this guy up so he has to, like, leap or dodge off in a way that he doesn't want to. Ah, oh, that's a pity. Stun farmers always get stunned, have you ever noticed that? So all three of our potentials are still standing at the moment. I think probably this guy comes down as a scoring threat, maybe? Nah, this guy's got an easier route. This guy would have to dodge through tackle. Does that put him in scoring range? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, it doesn't. That's interesting. Nice. Oh, an injury there would have been pretty sweet. Alright, so can we make this work? Uh, maybe. We'll take that. Hmm, I'd have to cheer, or I could just go here, maybe. Okay, there's no intercept chance there. I'd love to make more hits, but this is too important here. I'm not feeling it. Oh, we got it. Nice. I really was not expecting that. Even though it's easier than some of the ones we've done. We only have... okay, that's also... that's also very nice. Um, we only have two stand firmers, but two is still annoying, right? I don't know what the ideal setup here is. Maybe that? I don't think we have enough Chaos Dwarfs left to cover the entire back line in, uh, Tackle. Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we do. Mob Goblin. Then you... are we... are we down to play it? No, we're not. Tackle. So there's Tackle through there. And then he's got Tackle. 
Okay, is that a tackle through every line? Tackle, 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 double tackle, 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 tackle. Yeah. Sorry for saying tackle so much. Uh, and then we pop him. Okay. I mean, obviously he can get this guy out and use him, but is that is that tricky? I don't often do against uh, two stem firms. It'd be interesting to, to try. I mean, they're a team that can do it, right? Because... Ah, it's tricky though. Movement 7 is not the best. I think you'd want a plus movement guy, really, but... Obviously, good players could do it. It looks like he's just setting up the riot, so he's he's kind of like me. He's like, you know what? One turn is with movement seven. With this kind of stand firm and guard is, is tricky. Oh, a blitz! I don't think that helps us. Oh, that would have been so good next next half. Um. I don't think there's a lot we do here. I guess we'd just be happy that it wasn't a riot. Because I think these guys score on a riot. Oh, you know what? We could have moved all these guys over. No, it was a blitz. It wasn't perfect defense. Okay, I feel better again. So I think... That I wonder if he's going to try and quick score because... You know, obviously... it. Attrition is more likely to go our way. So that would be interesting to, to see how he plays it. Uh, I don't think using the stand frame really helps here. use it that time though, why not? Brown Pet. Interesting, interesting name. Are we going to see a foul? It's not your favourite foul. I think if this was uh, a Wood Elf he might think about it, but against Chaos Dwarfs doesn't feel so so exciting. Imagine that's it. I could be wrong, he might still go for it. Some people really play into the fouling game. Oh, he's going for it, okay. I mean, obviously if it fails, then he's down two players, which is not what you want. But if it works, maybe we're on even play? Well, no. He'd still be down a player, just be we'd be down one good player. Gets it and gets sent off. I'm appoing, even though we have the spare player, I'm appoing for the for the quality of players. Because that, that heaps the pressure forever on him. I think he tries to quick score here. So I think we do a slightly different setup to normal. Uh, maybe we pop these guys on the outsides, actually. Just to be extra annoying.
let's get you off, because I'd like to have somebody that can recover. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I will be right back. So yeah, the, the general idea here is that um, we want to have options that can get round and get at him if he goes past us. And we put these, we put our stand firms on the corners there to make him so it's harder to move around if he doesn't knock him over. Even if he does knock him over, the guy that knocks him over is not moving, so... Okay, that's probably better for him overall. Ooh, that's a nice deep kick. Perfect example. Okay, he does get that one. But it, like, gets in the way more, whereas if he pushes him here, he's kind of out the way for coming around and... You know. Okay, so he's very aggressively pushing down here. It's kind of made himself a little cage, but obviously this is... I don't know that he's going to go for the pass this turn, because that's a very long pass. Hey, I might be proven wrong. No, I think he's just staying back there. I think he'd have come more in line if he was going to pass. Risky. Oh, it worked. Not that risky, I guess. In retrospect, we could have put the basic guy in the middle there, because we didn't need his guard, so... That's probably what we should have done. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. So we might want to move him in a bit. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, we'll corner that. Excellent. We'll follow it to get out of the way, plus put another tackle zone on this guy. Actually, I'd kind of like to have somebody up in here. In retrospect, uh, let's see. Have this guy back as a sort of semi-sweeper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we can now cover the entire field from there, so there's no point in going any further. So I think the obvious play is coming down here, it's probably... Did he just do that first? Ooh. What, what was the plan? I guess the plan was something maybe in here then. Maybe he was going to hand off to one of these guys and try to come this way. Which in fairness, we haven't covered the best. Might still be the plan. So I think he was going to hit here, hit here, and then come and hand off to this guy. I think he's still thinking about that. Because obviously we don't have a great uh, situation on this side of the field. So what does he do? Does he blitz this guy? But that's just a one dice. Okay, this is good. Can't quite reach up there. I'd really like to get somebody over here. Because this guy is still a bit of a, a worry. Uh, so I think this guy drops back to midfield though. Well, let's see. I mean, we could free up this guy, but it does mean this guy is still a threat. But I think it kind of makes sense. That's really nice, because this guy is obviously a big problem. Okay, so that being the case, I think this guy does kind of drop back for the moment. I think this guy does come in here. Here to make this guy's dodges more difficult. What's he on there? Two. If I move in there, it's still a two. So I think that's the best place to be. We do have a free reroll. Hmm, 
pickup is nice. Excellent. I'm a break here would be really handy. Oh, the full concession. I mean, that game wasn't over there. He, he could have tried to get his guys back to pressure, but obviously it was in a bad place because we had him sort of surrounded, so... Well. I mean, it was in a miserable place for him, obviously. Oh, Death Rocket. Closing in on the level up. Shazorth. Uh, what is he? Get, what is he supposed to get next? He's still a ways away, actually. Uh, so yeah. What to make of that? So we had about the same amount of blocks. Obviously, we got three times as many armor breaks. I don't think that's crazy surprising. Ours were a lot more effective. I mean, even that's not that surprising, right? It's, that was. I think that was just a tough game for him. Uh, obviously, his wizard worked amazingly well. But also, um, you know, we, we did get a little lucky getting back and grabbing the ball. But this is, like, what just happened there was kind of why I feel like we still had a chance. Even even if we hadn't have scored, I felt like we just still had a chance. Because if, if that had been, I mean, obviously things would have played out different, blah, blah, blah. But if we had got the, uh, missed the touchdown in our half, I wouldn't have stopped there. I'd have gone in for 1-1 and put him back on defense again with eight or nine players and pressured him all over again. And then either he does get a better quick score the next time, or, um, which means we get to have, an, you know, like another probably five turns or five turns for our score back on him, or we uh, manage to pressure the ball out of him again and get a 2-1. So, you know, that that was my logic anyway in my brain. Make of it what you will. Something leveled up. Oh, it's a hub goblin, isn't it? Okay, just a regular. So, what are we looking at here? Do we do we get a strip ball? Might be interesting to have a strip ball rather than a tackle, right? Because we have tackle on the center already. Having a strip baller could be quite a nice sweeper. And we do have tackle on like, you know, 90% of the team. suppose you could also argue for a kicker, but I'm not as excited about that. I suppose kick is what we might get on the dirty player if he levels. That would be controversial, but could come in handy. If we get put on defense, we use kick. If we get put on offense, we use dirty player. That would be the sort of theory. I'm not the best about using dirty player anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I'm thinking probably strip here. Because then he's a good sort of last resort. Frenzy would be a bit crazy. Tackle is, um... We've got a lot, we got a, we got a center with tackle, and we might be about to get another one. Uh, kick, pass block, block, throw, sure hands, kick off return. No, 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 no. I mean, Dauntless is a cool skill. Dauntless might be what I get on that Chaos Dwarf if he levels up again. I suppose the other option may be grab. Fend. I mean, Fend's a nice skill in fairness. Shadowing, but I almost would rather have Fend on the ball carrier. Shadowing. Yeah, yeah, we're getting stripped. For a true sweeper. 
because quite often the people that get through the people that you have to sweep against are often not the people with sure hands uh usually you get that person running through and away from you uh is like a catcher or something because it's like oh i couldn't get my sure hands guy up there i'm gonna get it out, get it out to a catcher instead so yeah that feels like more of a more of a solid thing there. Plus, I mean, even if, even when we're, you know, there's other opportunities, right? It, it is a threat. So what are we, 15-3-4? It's quite tasty. Uh, we could, we could upgrade our club. Oops, uh, not that, I don't want to spend 200k. It's crazy that you have to spend 200k. Why is... Why do they not want you to upgrade your club? Because nobody's gonna want... You know, you have to put yourself in such a pit to spend 200k. Because you always got to be keeping at 150. At least for 250, you're going to hit it occasionally when you get a, a good result. But you're never going to have 200k. Like, why not just make each upgrade uh, 100k? I mean, I'm... Uh, you know, obviously this is a... This is an old issue. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So we could stop right and pitch invasions. I think that's what we did last time. Oh, there is a bribe one. Okay. That's pretty crazy. So an armor rolls and player falls while going for it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm reading that out like I've never seen it before. Throw a rock and get the ref. On the whole, we don't mind bribes. Throw a rock can suck, but get the ref is often nice for us. I mean, this can really backfire on you, but it can also be good. Do they still have the wizards one? Oh, it's crazy. I mean, if you're playing like a, a white, you know, a team purely for fun, you just got to get the wizard, right? Just for the absolute carnage. Um... I mean, there's a there's a fair call for doing weather because snow wrecks the centaurs, right? Rain, not the best for us. We did lose that game to you know what? I'm going to get the magic dome. I'm getting it. I think that makes sense for our team because of because of how bad Blizzard is, although I don't think we've had one yet, which is interesting. And rain can be if we need to do central pickups or whatnot. Um Sweltering Heat really cost us one game. And uh the the, the bright sun is is meh. It it can you know, it's more likely to be a problem for teams we're playing against, but still. Uh, so where are we? That pretty much took a whole hour anyway, so I might be... Uh, let's, let's finish off the YouTube. Thanks for watching YouTube. See you next time. Uh, bye for now.